The G1 Storia is developed specifically for the G1. It's got spherical eyelet bearings, an internal negative spring, and a hydraulic bottom out. Fitting the spring to the shock is fairly straightforward. You slide the spring over the adjusters. If you wind the rebound adjuster all the way in, you'll get the collar over the top and the C-clip. Sit the C-clip correctly in its groove. Now set in the preload. It's a little bit different to conventional coil shocks. Bolt it to your frame. Once it's bolted to your frame, we need to set the internal negative spring against the main spring. We do this by preloading the negative spring under the weight of the rear wheel. So lift, lift the bike up by the seat post. Wind the preload collar down until the spring doesn't rattle while the rear wheel's off the ground. This sets the shock at the right eye to eye length. If you don't do this correctly, the shock may suck in a little bit more. It'll change the geometry and your spring rate won't be as accurate. So wind it so it's just about snug. The spring doesn't rattle while the rear wheel's off the ground. You can double check you've got this right by holding the rear wheel down and lifting the seat post. Here you should have a couple of mil of clearance for negative travel. The negative spring gives us a really soft initial touch to the suspension, a little bit of rear wheel sag, and the suspension's as soft as it can be when it's reintroduced with the ground.